Back to that interview we were having earlier on with uh, uh, Carol Karaoke, who is CAPSA CEO. And I just want to engage your mind as we, uh, as we bring this conversation to a close, uh, Carol. What are some of the, you know, in the strategic plan, what are some of the plans that have been enacted? And what is your last words, your final thoughts to, um, you know, business owners out there? Um, one of the other ones that I would like to highlight, so there are five pillars. As I said, public-private dialogue, there's the sustainability pillar. This is where we're doing a lot of the climate change work, the blue economy. There's a lot of investments and uh, business opportunities in blue economy, so which we're trying to trap. Um, and a lot of sustainability, circular economy, that's on a sustainability pillar, social mm -hmm. pillar. This is okay. where we're doing youth and entrepreneurship and jobs. That's why I talk about Ajira and Wizesha program, really trying to do work placements for graduates into private sector. And then there's a governance pillar where we're running Kenya Daima 3 as we go into elections next year and in the light of COVID. Mm -hmm. So we'll be looking at that and leadership of this country and where we really need to have the right narrative for this country. And then the last pillar is the business hub. And this is where we have an SME club. I talked a lot about the programs we started for SMEs last year. And one of the other programs that we are running right now and just graduated 2,500 SMEs is the e-commerce booster program. And already 1,300 of those SMEs are already doing business online in the local and international platforms and we hope mm -hmm. to and we are capturing all the, the, um, the locations and regions of this country and hope we can spread it out to the very far corners of this country and so those are some of the programs I could say are running already now we're doing mm -hmm. them in the sustainability maybe I can mention we're doing the waste management program mm -hmm. uh, with women and uh, youth in Judah in Mombasa and hopefully we can do in many other slums and areas in this country and uh, continue to do waste management but my last word to business is that um, you've done well. I mean, we, it has been tough. People, uh, business has innovated, has stayed, tried to stay up afloat. We've supported government, whether it was PPEs, whether it was um, sanitizers, whether it was money to SMEs. Look at uh, someone like Dr. Manu Chandaria, who just est um, uh, established a new fund through KEPSA, a revolving fund for SMEs of 5 million shillings, and looking to many others who can do the same. Mm -hmm. And so it has been a hard time, but business has really worked hard. We've supported government, we've supported one another, mm -hmm. and I think I, I just appeal to each one of us, mm. first and foremost, to keep up with the health protocols. Uh, we have set out the workplace, uh, workplace protocols, sent them to government. They've been adopted by government. Sure. This morning, we circulated them again to businesses. Mm -hmm. Please, let's follow the protocols. It will help all of us to get to the other side. Great. Many thanks, Carol Karaoke, CEO of Kenya Private Sector Alliance. We've been speaking to her on the state of the economy and, of course, uh, economic recovery. On that note, we want to end that conversation there and talk matters innovation. Now, print billboards have been a mainstay tool in marketing in Kenya. Marketing deals 